So, we're going to have a look and see how we play this. First of all, all standard tuning, you don't need a capo, and we're based in the first position. It's actually based around the chord of A minor. So, we've got an A minor, and then we're keeping that A minor position. We've got a G in the root, and then we replace that G with an F, and then we slide all the way up to the fifth fret to do an A minor up here, and then back to the first fret for the F. So I'm going to break that down. I'm also going to talk about the finger picking action with your right hand because that's fairly important. So let's have a look at our A minor. We've got A minor position in first position, which is first finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, third finger, uh, second fret, third string. And again, if you don't want to, if you're not interested about the finger picking, if you just want those chords, that's your first chord. And then we're going to put our pinky finger, keeping the A minor position where it is on the 3rd fret of the 5th, uh, of the 6th string, which is the, the G in the root. And then we're going to take that off and then replace that with the F, so we're going to put our thumb over the 1st fret of the 5th, of the 6th string. And then we're going to move all the way up to that 5th fret where we've got 3rd finger on fret number 7, string number 4, and then we're barring from 3, 2, 1 on fret number 5 with our 1st finger, and we're just plucking 4, 3, 2 together. And then we're moving that shape back down to the F, which is 1st finger, 1st fret, 2nd string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the 4th string. And again, we're just plucking the 4, 3, 2 strings. So we've got that. So let's have a look at the most complex part of that of this song, which is the finger picking. So we're going to be using our right hand, because I'm right-handed. We've got this to start with. crucial thing to think about when you're working out this pattern is the, the, the bass notes, if you like, we've got this. And our other fingers are working around that, so we've got... So let's look at those other fingers. So we've got... And obviously it's a little bit quicker, so we've got... The only thing that's changing is I'm switching my thumb from the A string to that 6th string when we go to the G. So we go... And sometimes I'm plucking the two D, uh, sorry, the 2nd string and the 3rd string together. We keep in that that bass note. So we're gonna have a quick look at that chorus section that goes to the D minor. So we've got this. So those chords are D minor, F major, A minor, and to the G major. So again, same plucking pattern. And 
for that I'm sticking my, for the F chord, I'm just sticking the F in that root again, leaving the D minor position where it is. A minor, G major. those are the chords that you need to know for the chorus section. So like always, the best thing to do is listen to the track and uh, try and mimic what the guitarist is playing as well. So that's the, the basic way of playing it. There is a section in the middle where it changes to a chorus section and those same plucking pattern, but it's D minor. We go to the F, to the A minor, and then back to the G, but we follow the same plucking pattern as well. So for the main lick of the song, it's based around that A minor uh, sort of key, if you like, that A minor, G in the root, F, and then we've got that. So if this video helped you out, hit that like button. If you've got any questions, comments about this video, or you want any more advice, please use the comments box below. Right, I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.